we offer this holy mass for all our friends uh, to whom we have promised to pray for, especially the frontliners, all the doctors and nurses who are putting their lives uh, at stake in uh, taking care of the sick people uh, during this uh, pandemic. Entrance antiphone. My deliverer from angry nations, are s you set me above my assailants. You saved me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this most sacred mystery, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O Lord, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant that those you steer to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when you they cry to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue that I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace, and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if we will not know, we will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver 
the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve the, or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm, let our response be glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory Response. and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Gospel acclamation. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him. If you remain in my word, you will be truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave who does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you, what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, My father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you are Abraham's children, you will be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he said to me, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Just some of your words during these days. Uh, we have to, if we don't have Mass uh, in the church, uh, never it came to my mind that I will be saying masses uh, with no people around. I, when I was a young seminarian, I, I was serving the masses of Father George Swartz. They were already in their 70s. And I was telling myself, so if I be that old, no, I will be saying masses in private because maybe I'm the confessor. Saying the mass ahead, 
and then uh, when the when the people will have uh, will have the mass, you know, I will be hearing the confessions. But I am only around going 60, and now I am here, no, because of this COVID virus. No, we have to say the mass in private you know, without the people. And uh, maybe what uh, uh, makes us happy is that even there are no people, you know, we can still say the Mass. It's still the same Mass that the Lord has offered uh, many, many years ago. So again, you know, we, we would like to give assurance to all our friends, you know, not only in the Philippines, but... Uh, all over the world, no? we have friends who so are nurses and doctors in the U.S., in Canada, even in Europe. So let's be assured that we are all praying for you. Uh, you have uh, put your life or you have bet your life no? in uh, caring for people. So maybe we are the Marys who are at home no, that uh, are offering prayers for you so you are we are your prayer warriors and you are the Marthas no, who are giving service to the people of God especially during these uh, very trying uh, times I was always telling my companions here no, uh, I was quoting uh, who is that guy, uh, Tom Cruise, uh, desperate uh, times needs desperate measures. So even the way we do ministry, it is something unusual, uh, something that we have not done before. No, like uh, saying mass in private, using the social media not to reach people, to assure them of our prayers. And uh, of course, uh, we also we are also telling the people that maybe it has, so there was also something positive that uh, came out of this uh, of this uh, pandemic. Uh, now the, the mother and the father they could cook the meals of the children. They could have the the family meal. Uh, even the saying of the rosary, the, all the family members are present. And we could also tell them, assure them that the family that, that prays together stays together. And many of those things. So, uh, in the Gospel today, there's something about freedom to make a choice. And uh, looking at the people, I'm assigned now in Pasil, uh, looking at all the people, and, and Suba, looking at all the people, it seems that it did not yet come to their consciousness how great is this uh, pandemic, this uh, COVID virus. People are going around. Uh, it's difficult to practice uh, social distancing among the people because it's a slum area. Uh, thanks be to God, uh, we don't have a, a person who is already diagnosed as positive but we have already one who is already a person under investigation. So we all keep on reminding the people in cooperation with the barangay officials, but we hope that uh, it will not come to a time no, that uh, uh, people will take it ser seriously until they see some body bugs uh, around. So let's also pray for our people here that uh, it will come to their consciousness how serious is this uh, coronavirus. So we continue to pray for everyone, especially to our friends, our doctor friends and nurses, also to our sec, they are the, they are the frontliners and also the backliners. So the barangay captains, the government officials, the social workers who are helping the people by distributing food. You know, since we are now on the extended 
community quarantine and also those who are manning the, the checkpoints those who are manning the groceries grocery stores so they are they are still the back uh, second frontliners no uh, well uh, those manning the the drug stores so i think uh, those are the stores that are only open so the grocery stores supermarkets and the uh, the pharmacies so let's be a sort of our prayers and let us continue with our holy mass Blessed are God, Lord God of all creation, to be necessary of this bread to offer, which are the so human hands have made to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. To the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the unity of Christ. O humble and sufficient. Blessed be God for Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness. We have this wine to offer, food with the wine work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you. Let's Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good. Receive back, O Lord, these uh, sacrificial offerings which you have given us to be offered in the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. lift up your hearts, we'll lift them up to the Lord. let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just, it is really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so the Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, his gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed to Bechalis, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope the resurrection of all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, a ble with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all your saints who have pleased you, Throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for God's kingdom, let's now pray the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be. Communion Antiphon, God has brought us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through His blood and the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge our evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless us all the Father the Son the Holy Spirit Amen Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So once again, uh, we thank you for those who join us to this Holy Mass. So again, we offer this Holy Mass for all our frontliners, all our, our doctors and nurses who are working hard in order to serve our people. A pleasant good morning and uh, a pleasant day ahead of us.